In this video, we'll show you how to create a composite image and use focus stacking to get an image with greatly improved sharpness. Focus stacking, also known as focus blending, is an excellent way to create a sharp image and is used when it's impossible to get an entire image in focus in one go and is usually used in macro and landscape photography and is normally done on a camera, but it's also a great way for us to improve our images using a phone. The focus stacking software we recommend is Helicon Focus. You do have to purchase this software, but it's very reasonable and is well worth the cost. And best of all, it's very easy to use and gives great results. At the time of recording Helicon Focus is only available for PC. Of course, there are other programs available also. As we saw previously, when discussing depth of field and photographing larger flies, parts of the fly can lie outside of the depth of field, particularly when the fly is at an angle to the lens. We don't always want to photograph the fly side on and parallel to the phone. Sometimes, having the fly at an angle is a great look for an image. Whilst having parts of the fly blurry, can give a nice look to an image, most of the time we would like all of the fly as sharp as possible. The first thing we need to do is to get our images. As you will have noticed in the video, we are using the same setup as previously with square mode, and we are using the timer and the focus lock, just as if we were taking a single image. Focus stacking works by blending multiple images into one composite image. As you can see in the video we're taking several images, in this case 8, as it's a large fly. And each time we take an image, we're focusing on a different part of the fly. The setup and procedure for taking every image is the same as previously, only this time you must ensure that neither the fly or the phone move during the whole process, or you will end up with a blurred image. So as you can imagine, in this instance, touching the capture button and the screen very lightly is imperative so as not to move the phone in the slightest. So we now have our eight images. Now you'll need to download the software from Helicon Soft. There's a 30-day free trial available, so you'll be able to try out the software before you buy. If you decide to buy the software, a yearly license for the light version works out around £22 per year, which we feel is very reasonable. Open your software, you'll be presented with this screen. Go to the top left of the screen and select File and then the first option, Open Images. Here you can see the eight images we have imported from our phone. You will need to select the file where you saved your images, this will most likely be your photos folder. Select all of the images, and click open. All the images will load into the source folder, on the right of the screen, and the first image will load onto the preview screen. Below the source folder are some rendering options, the default is depth map, we would recommend leaving this on the default for now. Just below the render options, click the render button, the software will work its magic. As it's working, you can see a green progress bar on an image in the output section at bottom left. By holding down the left mouse button, we can zoom in on an area. We can compare the left image to right and check to see if the areas are sharp. Let's check a few areas. And we can see how the tail and feathers on the left image are blurred, and in the rendered image, the detail is clearly defined.
And now all we need to do, is to save the image. We'll just save it in the same folder, as the original images. And here's the image, let's take a look. It's a great image, and well worth taking the time to do. All that it needs now is a small edit, and it will be good to go. It's not just single flies we can use focus stacking on, it's also great when photographing multiple flies, when you want them all in focus in one image. We'll take five photos. One photo for each fly. Focus locking on each fly, as we would for any other photo. We'll speed this up a bit, as I know by now, you're familiar with the procedure. We now have our five images, and it's just a case of stacking them as before. Select the images and click open. Click render, and the software creates the composite file. Let's check each fly, to make sure it's in focus. Very nice. We're good to go. We can now save the file. And here is our image. With a bit of editing, and cropping, it'll be a great image. Focus stacking enables us to produce high-quality images, with a greater depth of field. And produce stunning in-focus images, but isn't for the faint-hearted or for those who adopt a point, shoot and post approach. We hope this short tutorial has given you an insight, into another way, you can create stunning, in-focus images, using only your mobile phone. Flyology wishes you the very best of luck with your fly tying photography. We hope you have many hours of fun using the kit and tutorials. We'll leave you with a few fully edited images that have been taken with the iPhone 8 and focus stacked using Helicon Focus.